We are now joined by Jessica Burgum, and she is with La Casa. Welcome, Jessica. Thank you so much for having me. Absolutely. Thanks for being here. Um, Jessica, you are just doing a phenomenal job of being out and engaged in the community and um, all of the work that you're doing with La Casa. So I'm really happy that you were able to join us today to just share with our listeners a little bit about who you are and um, what La Casa is doing and how you're also engaged in the community. So I'm going to hand it over to you um, and just have you just introduce yourself really quick and um, share what you do at La Casa. Sure. So I am going into my fifth year at La Casa as communications director. Um, it's a fabulous opportunity to work with the community and just spread the awareness of the agency and um, bring the information out to the public. Uh, you know, just kind of our fundraising events, our awareness events, the things that we do to help victims and survivors. And so, you know, for anyone that's not familiar with La Casa, we are a nonprofit here in Livingston County. We provide services to victims and survivors of child abuse, domestic violence, and sexual assault, completely free of charge, legal services, counseling. Um, we do have a shelter at our facility. And um, so, you know, we celebrated last year, we celebrated our 40th anniversary of being in Livingston County. And you know, the great part about La Casa, the piece that I love so much is that all of the support that comes um, into our agency stays local. So it really stays here at home helping, you know, people in Livingston County. And, um, you know, that's that's pretty rare. And, and for us to be so successful in celebrating 40 years, uh, it really shows a need in our area for these services. And, you know, we just, we, we get a lot of support from the community. So we're very grateful. Awesome, and I was gonna mention that too. So just to tack on to like what you said, like being here for 40 years, it really demonstrates one that not only the need, but two, the support from a community. I mean, that is huge, and I think that's like just a says a lot about your mission and Definitely. the work that you guys do. Definitely. I mean, back in 1981 when we started, um, it was three individuals who decided or you know identified a need for um, help for women at the time, specifically, who were being battered. And um, so yeah, with a, a single phone and a little rented office space, these three women gathered and um, they became, you know, La Casa. And so now we've got a staff of over 70, again, celebrating 40 years in the community, and we are just growing. And the growth is phenomenal. We're really um, grateful that we can fulfill the need that the community has. That's amazing. Well, we are really grateful to have you guys here. Thank what you. an amazing resource and asset, too. So, like I said, Livingston County as a whole, and I mean, you said it best. It's you, you're you're really um, fulfilling a need, and, and what's nice is that it's it's here locally. It does, yeah. No, I I absolutely love my work. I love the agency I work for. Um, the individuals, you know, at La Casa, everyone's just got a, such a big heart, and and they're very supportive of my involvement in the community, working with the chamber and other nonprofits, and. Um, it's just good all the way around. It feels really good. It is. It is. We're better together, right? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So, um, you know, La Casa does a lot of uh, events around fundraising and to support the community. I mean, really, that's really falls all under the umbrella of your mission. So, can you share with me um, kind of just what you have coming up? It looks like you have some really exciting things on the calendar, and how, and could, you know, maybe how people can help around the holidays because that is really a big. Um, time for, for needs. It, it is, it really is. And, you know, for us kind of coming off of fundraising season, most of our, you know, our three larger fundraising events are throughout the summer and fall. So, you know, we, we think, well, our things are going to slow down and they really don't. Um, La Casa stays pretty busy. So uh, one thing that we have coming up November 10th is our Bordines holiday extravaganza. Um, we've been having this several years now. Bordines invites the community to their uh, location in Brighton. And there are 20 plus vendors, uh, guests get to sample food, and there's wine, raffle prizes, music, entertainment, and then there's in-store discounts. And it's a really fun event. It really kind of sparks that holiday spirit and gets people, um, you know, excited about what's what's coming, you know, Christmas and the holidays. And oh, so- yeah, Fordines, it's gotta be beautiful. It's, oh my gosh, <laughs> it's gorgeous. You know, they just going in there and, and walking around and looking at everything Bordines has to offer is fabulous in and of itself. So. And it is a fundraising event, so Bordines, um, the proceeds from that event come back to La Casa. Tickets are $25. They can be purchased online. And again, that's November 10th, 630 to 830. Is this something you guys have done for a while? I want to say... If I had to guess, we're going into like our eighth or ninth year. Okay. Um, so they've did you been take a break for a little bit because of COVID. Yeah, or? because okay. of COVID, we did have one year that we didn't host it. Um, 
And so, you know, it's really, a, you know, it's a blessing that we're able to have it again. Um, I think this year they're capping it out at about 450 people. So that's what I was wondering is where yeah. you cap at. Mm -hmm. so, um, yeah. So last year we sold out and I think the year prior to that we sold out. So, um, yeah, it's definitely, or no, the year before COVID, but anyway, it's a, it's a popular event. People really love it. And, What's um, not to love food, I know. beverages, music <laughs> I know. It's I'm so like marking my calendar right now. <laughs> I know. It's so much fun. It really is. It's, it's like I said, you know, it's that, it's that jump into the holiday season, yeah. that holiday spirit. So yeah, so we've got that looking, that we're looking forward to November 10th. Um, you know, we do have a, uh, a La Casa Collection, which is our unique charity resale boutique, and La Casa Collection just celebrated its fifth anniversary in September, and um, if anyone's not familiar with it, it is, uh, it's a resale store with clothing, household goods, and, and items um, that our victims and survivors get to go to and they shop for free. They shop with dignity instead of, you know, going through a closet of clothes that have been donated to the center. Um, our clients can actually go, we give them gift cards and they can shop anonymously and with dignity and pick out the things that they need to help rebuild their lives. So uh, La Casa Collection is near and dear to our heart. It's a very important part of our agency and the public also shops there. All proceeds go back to La Casa Center. So one other event that we have coming up is what we call our holiday store flip. Um, so we, for an entire weekend, it'll be November 4th through the 6th this year, we um, have volunteers come in and we get out all of our holiday stuff, all of our holiday donations, which accumulate throughout the year. A lot of people like to donate their, their old holiday decorations and stuff, um, but we just deck the store out into like this mini Bronner's. It's like this holiday wonderland. That's and so, awesome. yeah, it's a lot of fun. You know, we get music going and, you know, have hot cocoa and uh -huh. it's, a, it's a blast. And so, so but we need- Christmas a, decorating enthusiasts. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. Um, anybody who loves decorating for the holidays Days, it's um, it's a really good time and so we do we need a lot of volunteers to make that happen so that's another ask for the community is if Where anyone's can interested somebody sign up to volunteer for that so um, whether it's for any of our fundraising events awareness events signing up to volunteer things like that info at lacasacenter.org is the best way to reach us and we can get anybody connected with um, you know whether it's purchasing tickets or signing up to volunteer um, but yeah, no, that's, that's last year. I think we had probably 40 to 50 people that helped. So it's, it's a oh big gosh, endeavor. It's a big endeavor, but a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah. It sounds like a great, great little volunteer party. It is. <laughs> it really is. And so. you know, it's, it's again, that holiday spirit, giving back. It's a good feeling. Absolutely. So, and I also see that you guys have another thing going on throughout the holidays. <laughs> yes. Uh, we have again, going into our fifth year, our Starry night, um, holiday donation drive. And so this is a, an opportunity for the community to purchase a new unwrapped toy for a child receiving services at La Casa. And this drive gets bigger and bigger every year. We are so blessed, whether it's individuals from the community, businesses, organizations, um, we get so many donations. And it's, it's amazing because we can provide those items for children around the holidays, but we get so many donations that we're able to keep them throughout the year. Because you know we have families um, that come into our center all throughout the year not just at the holiday time and so it's a really um it's a nice thing that we can offer a toy to a child who may be coming in in july yeah. um and you know they're really struggling and we can go into our resource uh, rooms and and let them pick something out that makes them feel special that day and feel comforted mm -hmm. so the items that we get at this holiday drive um, they last us throughout the year the drive this year will run november 1st to december 16th and you know, aside from donating toys, we're also encouraging the community to donate gift cards because they're very versatile for our tweens and our teens who Absolutely. don't play with toys. They're a little harder to shop for. Mm -hmm. So gift cards are a great way to, um, you know, provide something for our older kids too, so they don't feel so left out. Oh, 
Awesome. Well, it sounds like you guys have a ton going on. Like you said, it doesn't slow down, even though you no. kind of you threw those fundraising events. So, wow, we're all looking forward to the great things to come this holiday thank season you. from La Casa. And thank you for sharing that. My pleasure. And, thank you. Um, at the Chamber, we also have some exciting things going yes. on. Of course, <laughs> uh, Fantasy of Lights being one of them. So, uh, Jessica, can you share with us a little bit about um, your involvement in Fantasy of Lights sure. and... Um, what the parade theme is this year? Yes, so I'm, I'm thinking this is my third year involved with the Fantasy of Lights Parade Committee. Um, it's one of my favorite committees at the Chamber, um, and I have been helping in the past few years coordinate our entertainment. And so this year's theme is Christmas movie classics, and so there's a lot of fun surrounding that. You know, I was thinking the other day about all the you know, the the prime Christmas movies that stick out in my mind about, you know, what kind of floats we could have this year from, you know, The Grinch Who Stole Christmas to A Christmas Story, Home Alone, Elf, you know, there's so many ideas. And so um, definitely looking for parade entries. Again, there's, there's a lot of different directions that the community could go with it for their floats. And so I'm excited just to see that. I, I think it's gonna be a blast. I, I agree. And, you know, it's, it is fun to see. I, I'm glad you mentioned some of those ideas around Christmas movie classics. Because my mind always goes to like The Grinch or Elf, but Home Alone. Yeah, Absolutely. I know. Like, I know. <laughs> There's so many good ones, yeah. um, and you know you can get really creative. So um, definitely looking for parade entries, and the application can be found on the chamber website, owl.org. Mm -hmm. uh, do know that applications should try to be in by November 9th. Um, but yeah, it's going to be a fun one. Yeah, absolutely. And you know, one thing I did want to mention too, um, with that deadline is that we want to make sure that, um, you know, if you have questions and you're thinking about submitting an application, but you don't really know if, uh, you know, oh, I'm not sure about this, or I'm not sure about that, or I'm not sure how to put lights on a vehicle, right. we can help you answer those questions. Yeah. So, you know, reach out to our committee, reach out to um, the chamber, and um, we're more than happy to help you kind of problem solve or troubleshoot some of those those questions that you might have or, or hesitations about maybe submitting an entry for the parade. Right, so. uh, yep, definitely. Um, so Jessica, you mentioned that you're in charge of entertainment. Um, what are we looking at for entertainment this year? So we have some, um, we have some performers that they like to come back year after year mm -hmm. and they're fabulous. Uh, a lot of um, schools like to participate. So we have the Highlander Corral is coming back this year. They like to, uh, they've been here multiple years. Um, Parker Middle School Choir, Voices of Voyager. Um, so a lot of involvement from the schools. We have Mascara Acapella, who this will be, I believe, their second, maybe third year in, um, involved with us, and they're phenomenal, really gaining a lot of traction in the community, and really enjoy having them. And then Bronson Sacker is going to be performing for us as well. So um, we've got some new faces, some returning faces, and you know, in previous years we've kind of we've changed the location of entertainment a little bit, and this year we're moving it up um, State Street, closer to Dairy Queen, kind of right in the middle of the action. So. It's Absolutely. going to be front and center and uh, just beautiful, beautiful holiday songs. So yeah. Well, awesome. Thank you for coordinating that with us. And we are really looking forward to that. Entertainment kicks off at 4 p.m. Um, along with a lot of the other things that we have going on downtown. So um, I'm just going to throw it out there that we are always looking for people to join our committee and, um, you know, just extra hands to help out. But Jessica, I want to thank you for your time today. If anybody wants to get a hold of you, how would, what's the best way to do that? Um, best way is probably through email, um, jburgum at lacasacenter.org. Um, and yeah, you know, I, like I said, I, I'm primarily, you know, communications director at La Casa, but I, I really appreciate my ability to be involved in the community in multiple facets. So uh, awesome. thanks for your time. Thanks, Jess.